Welcome. In this module, Critical Security Control Number 2, Inventory of Authorized and Unauthorized Software, we're going to talk about how to whitelist and control the software uh, which is installed and allowed in the enterprise. So Control 2.1 talks about devise a list of authorized allowed software and version, which version is very important because versions keep changing for the software. That is required in the enterprise for each type of system, including servers, workstations, and laptops of various kinds and uses. I would like to quickly mention that software usually falls into three types of categories. One is off-the-shelf software, for example, Microsoft Office, or, um, uh, you know, for example, Microsoft Excel, or it could be uh, Acrobat PDF, Acrobat Reader, which is developed um, by a third party, and you really can't, um, uh, you, you do not contribute in the development of that software, but you do configure the software to some extent. In the case of Microsoft Server 2016, you have a capability to configure uh, certain parts of the software during installation. Or, for example, for um, Red Hat Linux, when you're installing um, the software as an operating system, you have capability to configure the software. Now, the second type of category for software is um, customized software which is developed within the organization and you may have for example in a team of uh, if you have a team of 20 IT personnel in your IT team five of them may be ASP.NET developers or there may be um, mobile Android or iOS developers and they develop business applications and uh, you know for in order to automate the business process the third type of software is custom software development but developed outside the organization by a third party or by a software house which is sitting outside the organization. So irrespective which of the three types of software you have, here we uh, do need to develop a list of authorized software and version. Now, this list should be monitored by file integrity checking tools. And file integrity checking is usually a feature available either in the antivirus suite or in the DLP, uh, data loss prevention suite and uh, by file integrity checking tools to validate that the authorized software has not been modified. Number 2.2, deploy application whitelisting technology that allows systems to run software only if it is included on the whitelist and prevents execution of all other software on the system. So this type of uh, uh, software is available and if you install the agent, then if you try to install software which is not in the whitelist, it will not allow a uh, computer user to install that software. And this is very useful because most of the trouble um, in the enterprise, uh, within the enterprise, uh, happens when people will install malicious, faulty, uh, or infected software. Now, the whitelist may be very extensive, as is available from commercial whitelist vendors, so that users are not inconvenienced when using common software. So we need to have a fairly long list of allowed and uh, uh, you know software which general computer users can install. Or for some special purpose systems, which require only a small number of programs to achieve their needed business functionality, which are more critical, uh, the whitelist may be quite narrow as well. So we really have to assess that for the general user, keep the, keep the whitelist very big uh, so that business is, is not hampered, but we maintain a control. And for more critical systems, in which um, uh, you know there's a restricted set of functions and the criticality uh, or impact could be high, you can keep the whitelist very narrow. Deploy software inventory tools throughout the organization covering each of the operating system types in use, including servers, workstations, and laptops. The software inventory system should track the version of the underlying operating system as well as the application installed on it. And again, we need to have some automated mechanism gather the inventory because there's probably thousands or hundreds of uh, instances of the installed software. The software inventory systems must be tied into the hardware asset inventory so all devices and associated software are tracked from a single location. So we need to connect the hardware and the software together um, uh, and, and not have de uh, disparate uh, inventories. And finally, virtual machines and or air gap systems uh, air gap means that there is a tighter control and everything is locked or more hardened. Air gap systems should be used to isolate and run applications that are required for business operations, 
but based on higher risk, uh, should not be installed within a networked environment. So what we're saying here is that uh, very, very critical systems should not be even installed on the network environment where there's an easy access, but they should be isolated um, into an air-gapped environment, or we should try to put it on a, on a VM and isolate it. And uh, uh, this, is, this is very useful guidance um, so that the uh, vectors, the attack vectors or the exposure for such critical systems is reduced. That's all that we have uh, for this module. Thank you.